So what did you work on most during the off season? What I worked on most, I worked on, you know, my overall shot and, you know, creating my own shot off the dribble. You know, I worked on ball handling, just, just being comfortable outside the paint pretty much. That's about it. You know, my, as far as my game goes, I feel like my energy, you know, my energy is the best asset I have. So just, you know, fine-tuning the other aspects of my game. That's what I try to do. So what are your thoughts on the game last night as a whole? As a whole, I think we did real good. You know, we played hard, we played together, you know, we played real good defense, we rebounded the ball good. And you know, that's just gonna be our format going to every game. You know, nobody nobody's gonna play as hard as we do. And you know, even if they do hard, we gotta match their intensity, if not go above it. You know, individually, I, I feel like I play hard, you know, hustle. And but my shot wasn't falling, if my shot was falling a little more. Overall, I feel like it was a good turnout. So, which newcomer do you think will have the largest impact on the team this season? Daniel Mullins. Daniel Mullins, freshman guard. You know, he's just, he just, he just be everywhere. He defends, you know, with the best of them. You know, he got the long arms, real athletic, and he just, he play, play with a certain energy that that I like, really love. You know, he, yeah, he's gonna be real good. You know, he just. Just energizing. He just everywhere you see, everywhere the ball is, he's a, he's real close to it, and you can't you can't teach that. So he, as long as he keep fine tuning his game, he keep working hard, he's gonna get a great Aggie for years to come. What do you feel like you need to work on to improve your game? Uh, I just need to, you know, I just need to stay in the gym, you know, keep fine tuning my shot, get more and more comfortable. Put it up and working hard, but you know, you know, I just got just in the mental aspect too. I gotta know that all shots are not gonna fall, and I gotta you know, keep go to the next play, the next play, you know, and just just you know keep doing what I do, just playing hard, you know, trying to trying to keep my team going, you know, make sure we don't have any lapses during the game, you know, try to make sure we execute everything coach tell us to do, and you know, just be a good teammate. So you know. As far as, as far as my shot, shot is concerned, I just gotta stay in the gym. So, how far do you think this year's team can go? Like, it doesn't need to be a guarantee or anything, but just how far do you think we can get there? I feel as though this team can go all the way. You know, national championship. You know, you can't achieve something if you don't believe it. And if you're not, if you're not playing for a national championship, then put down the basketball right now. You know, like. We believe it, coach believe it. You know, we we believe it. We know that we're gonna do it together. If we just, you know, keep keep our goal, one goal in mind and maintain it, do it, work hard every day, day by day. I think we can do it, man. You know, we got a special group of special group of players and a special group of people on this team, man. You know, we can do it together, man. As long as the whole city of Las Cruces is behind us, why not? How did it feel to get the 100-point dunk on your first game back? Man, to be honest with you, I, I didn't even know that I, that I had it. So, you know, it seems like it was fitting, though. You know, my first game back, you know, dunk on a Wednesday. So, you know, it seems like it was fitting. You know, I enjoyed it. It was a good, it was a good test of waters. You know, shout out to Eastern New Mexico, but they didn't stand a chance. So, what are your thoughts on the next game against Northern Colorado? Against Northern Colorado, I can guarantee you that we're going to put forth the same effort we've seen against Eastern New Mexico. And we're just going to just play hard and try to play together, rebound, do all the little things. You know, offense is going to take care of itself. We can defend, especially away. At it on our away game, if we can defend our butts off, you know, I feel as though we can come up victorious against any team. Not, not, not necessarily just North Colorado. Even though I read on their website that when they came to beat us at last year, the biggest week in their program, that I wasn't playing and staying to We're coming to Colorado. Wednesday. All right, so what's new coming from Wednesday Entertainment? As far as Wednesday Entertainment, it's all about Jizzy Lido. You know, 
18, he goes to Deontay High School here, you know, he's real talented, you know, he's putting, putting forth the work that, they, that it takes to become a star, real talented, you know, he has great music, and, you know, it's just all about him right now, you know, myself, I love making music, but, Basketball takes up my time right now, and right on. it's all about Jersey Live. We'll be hearing a lot from him real soon, so stay in tune. It's live. So, do you have anything else that you want to say to all the uh, Aggie fans out there? Yeah, you know, I missed you. You know, it's good to be back. Man, expect big things this year. Also, follow me on Twitter at when W-E-N underscore McKinnis 31. Follow Drizzy Lotto at Drizzy underscore Lotto. Follow Wednesday Entertainment at Wednesday ENT. And fo also follow the PR of Wednesday Entertainment at Sammy And the Ellis for Love. Wednesday. Jump below, make it clap. Shout out to Buzz, Christy Bo, I see you, Mark. Your girl rolling with us, cause she think that she a star.